So, well, hello, hello, and welcome to another Let's Play or Let's Replay World of Tanks. This time I drive my wonderful Amex for 155. It's a very, very powerful French TD that will get nerfed with the next patch, but to be honest, it's not a nerfing, uh, not a big nerfing for the tank itself. It's losing. 10 armor points on the right uh, on the rear and 10 armor points at the side plate so it doesn't matter this time we are driving a battle on Himmelsdorf and we got flamed or we get flamed directly at the beginning because the panther 2 that is moving up on the hill is flaming us directly why we are not moving up on the hill and i tell you why because i don't play as usual i do what i need to do and yeah this battle was very amazing the results were 4476 xp tripled 107000 credits and i got also sniper because 12 of 12 hits hit the targets and also i was using i got steel wall because i was tanking a lot of damage and i was dealing around 6,000 damage. You will see it in the top here somewhere. I think it's there. You will see how many damage I was dealing in this case. So, yeah, you see, um, usually I'm driving on the line 8 this, on this map because it's a very important thing. If you leave this map open, it's a huge gap and you will definitely fail at some point. And this IS-8 here gave me a huge, really a huge support in this game. So, yeah, you see, the first thing where I'm at aiming at the E-75 is the commander's hatch. It's a very important thing if you don't see the weak spot on the bottom of the tank. So it's a very easy thing to go through the hatch, commander's hatch. So the first hit was hitting him directly for 943. And also, a very important information is if you drive a 155, you should avoid that the enemies are seeing your your commander's hatch. It's on the top left side of your tank. This it's it's like it looks like a long metal bar, and it's a very risky thing if they are aiming at this point. So yeah, you see the first tank was destroyed. The E75 is down, and you see the Panther 2 is still complaining why we didn't go on the hill, why we didn't rush the hill, etc. Because you see the hill is already overrun, there are already so many tanks up here, and now you will see a very funny battle at this point because it looks like that we are losing this one, but I can tell you we do not lose it. So. Yeah, let's wait for the first enemies here at this point. I think they're coming down now. I was really focusing on the object 2704 and I was not seeing him. I was like, seriously, where is he? Why is he not coming down here? Maybe he knows that I'm staying here. You see our tanks are plopping like hell. They're dying like hell and that was unbelievable, I tell you. It was really unbelievable. So, oh yeah, that's the object. First hit, bounced. This is a very hilarious thing that I mean, it's bouncing. So the second hit, now I was forced to reload. The T T69 is still shooting on me and he's bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Because the front armor of the Foch is very amazing, it's brilliant. It's a very thick armor if you're hitting in a wrong angle so in this case I see okay on the 8 line the T100 E3 is T110 E3 is moving and pushing forward so I was somehow forced to move in the direction of this guy to support him a bit so my reload was already over or almost over so I directly gave this guy a hit on his commander hatch. Bam! 985 damage done. And here is my platoon mate, Fire Angel again. There's the object, and goodbye. 
There's the Aizu 152, and I, I'm not pretty sure. I think I didn't spend this shot on him. I'm, yeah, he was moving around the corner to take care of himself. And you see our team is almost down. Now Firing Angel is giving support with his Waffentrager of E100. It's a very amazing and also powerful TD. So, yeah, now they're starting to cap the base. Let's see here. I think, yeah, that's the T45 around the corner. He was spotting me. This beep, beep, beep that you hear here is good for me because then I know exactly when the time is over. So, I know exactly when I'm not spotted any longer or might be not longer spotted if I am far enough away of the enemy so now I had a small meeting with the object 263 the Russian TD it's a very heavily armored TD so his front is cr quite crazy I tell you his front armor is really annoying He's dealing a lot of damage as well because he has uh, the reload time of this tank is ridiculous. It's really quick reloading. That's the next tier 10 on my on my skill line that I will skill after I got the weapon trigger. So let's see. I think one shot was bouncing. I'm not pretty sure. I think it was the second shot that was bouncing. So he's. Yeah, he was damaging my gun, that's why the second hit was bouncing and now he made a mistake. So at this case I was in this case I was like, seriously, foo I lost, I'm lost, help me, I'm stuck. But yeah nothing like that happens. So it was moving a bit and finally I was free again and the wraith of my beast can unleash so at this point we were thinking about rushing the Izu, but the problem was the ES Ice 8 was a one-shot target and now the Izu gave me a hit and he was penetrating the armor so yeah I was trying to crash him I gave him 27 but that's not enough so I was waiting at some point and then I was about to flank this guy and uh, the Ice 8 decided to move further and this is also a very... I do that also but sometimes it takes a bit thinking if you're doing it or if you're not doing it so he was rushing and pushing forward and directly shooting without waiting that the, the aiming circle is going smaller and smaller to get a really clear shot on the ge uh, enemy Gegner <laughs> and yeah now I sh show you a very funny move because I was moving on the enemy base on the w GW E100 the artillery he was really smiling direct in my face and he was not even bothered to shoot at me so I used a very funny trick to take him out and so I was driving down to the enemy base via this lane here it was a very long move but I was pretty sure that this guy was still there and yes this is a mod you see where this tank was spotted the last time if he's getting sp spotted again and this at this point and then he's disappearing here you will see his name here written in gray so I was pretty sure that he's still there because the RT is not moving like the, moving around like an idiot for example so now the funny move is starting so I was driving towards the street here he was spotting me he was not even shooting so I was faking that I am driving in this lane here on the right side but I wasn't doing it he was seeing me that I was driving in this direction so he turned his back he turned his tank to, to the other direction and he was trying to shoot on me on the other direction 
And the very important thing is, do not trigger the base cap. Otherwise he know, or he will know or notice that you are definitely there. So you see, he was turning his back to me and off he goes. So finally, I must say, it was a very nice round. I really appreciated this round and yeah. If you have questions about World of Tanks, how to equip a tank efficiently or what tank is good to buy or what tank you should avoid or stuff like that just feel free to leave me a comment with that question or send me a comment or a question via the youtube in-game mail um i'm not pretty sure if this option is still available but try to send me a mail even so i will give you a small link below to a mail address where you can send me something questions about world of tanks or other games and yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i'm really happy about even every thumbs up that I get and even so every commentary stuff what you liked or what you didn't like on the videos and yeah stay tuned subscribe to my channel for further giveaways in the future and take care bye bye